paintbrush. Morning guys, um, and yes it is morning, we actually uh, slept on this last night. Wasn't that bad, considering it was getting rather cold last night, but uh, yeah it was, it got warm, it really did. Um, but yeah, quick update, well, say quick, but yeah, two days ago we uh, had a trip up north. Um, the name is to me where it was, um, just south of Liverpool, I know that. In the intention of buying uh, our new loo. But we walked away with a loo and a stove. 230 quid for a pair, not, I won't gonna argue about it. But yeah, it, uh, we've got them, they're on board. It's just a matter of finding someone to plumb them in or have a go myself. Toilet wise I can do, but stove wise I don't know much about the regulations so I'll get someone to do that for me. So yeah. So this is our new stove, complete with full flue and chimney. I've got the innards out of the actual stove at the minute because I'm going to try and give it a bit of a clean up. But it is a, a diesel stove and that's just a cover plate and you've actually got a cooking plate there. Obviously it hasn't been used for a while so it's covered in a bit of diesel so I need to clean this all up. But there we go. It doesn't require electricity. All you do is you turn it on at the back, you because all that fit all that bit there fits in this, so you've got like a little chamber inside this this tube. Um, what you do is the pool of diesel sits in there, you drop a fire lighter in and you wait for it to catch basically. Once that's going, you adjust it on the back to see what you want it as, and it just sits and runs away. You can have it on tick over overnight, you can turn it off, it's instant. I mean, the other one we've got is a bit of a nightmare. It's, as you can see, all the fire bricks have fallen out, so sort of they've all crumbled away. Um, so it doesn't really say lit very well, and it's very hard to light. But we won't have any of this mess, you won't have any of the logs over there, um, yeah, it's good. and yeah, no ash left over either, so, but the biggest headache we've got is this flue pipe, as you can see, it sort of runs down and across, so I'm hoping that I can try and sort out, so I've got a couple of bend bits, I've got one there as well, which you can't really see because of the angle, it just bends up a little bit there, but yeah, there's, this one's a lower half. And then you put your two ups, and that's the main chimney for at the top. It's actually upside down in a minute, so I'll just flip that over, you'll see what I mean. There we go. So, yeah, that's the uh, that's the stove. Here's the inlet is at the side there, and you're adjusting that on the top there. And now for the loop. Okay, this is the loop. It's a proper macerator loop. Um, it's just a matter of plumbing this in. Not too hard, just watering the electricity in and the, uh, the waste out. But it's a full height, as you can see, it's all there. 
so it's just a matter of plumbing it in the height wise as well. It's standard height of the height of a standard blue is high, basically it's a quite a nice one. It's not plastic either, it's a proper proper porcelain toilet with lid which we can probably change. I haven't looked at it yet to see how it attaches but that's all ready to be plumbed in. The hole for the waste is actually have one beforehand. So it's already got one there for it to come out. So we've got to look at where we can put the tank. Um, originally, I was going to see if I could fit one underneath this bit here. Because underneath that bit there is a little step, like a, a lake you can take off. But I'm looking at it, I don't know that I'll fit it underneath this. So I'll have to look at other places to have a look at. The, fitting still on the hole, but it's over in that corner where you stand on the back. Um, so yeah, I need to look at uh, plumbing that all in. stuff which I've got to uh, install. Um, one step closer to living on it basically. I mean we can come down here. Now it's getting to the time of year where it's not so cold. Um, we, we can come down here long weekends. Um, but the next thing is really to not run that thing for a while because it's pretty noisy. Um, so yeah, the next real big job is solar panels. Um, my mate's mum's actually got a, a large generator. We've got a generator now, but it's only a two kilowatt one. My mate's got like a 6.5, I think it is. Um, so I'm going to get that off there as a, a backup. Um, I've got a charger at home for battery charging, but it's not ideal. Um, so that's why the solar's really going to do its job. Um, so. Yeah, I'll uh, keep you in all informed and I hope you uh, stay in touch and subscribe, like, comment. I'll try and do a, a comment video in the near future. I'll see what is on the uh, current uh, videos and see if there's anything I can get back to you on. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the uh, time. See you again soon. Bye bye.